especially in tennis, um, the way I like to describe it is you're kind of like a team of individuals or like a, t uh, a team of smaller teams if you're playing doubles. Nobody can really step in for you and do your job for you. Um, you're playing your own match. But on the other side of that is that um, each player's match is part of the larger match as a whole. And we all need to give everything we had in order for the team to succeed. I'm able to recognize and uh, clearly communicate with my colleagues, but most importantly with my patients and able to understand and acknowledge where they come from. So my communication skills on and off the court have been really a important tool that I have in my arsenal. We practice communication, we practice uh, resiliency, we practice being disciplined in our line of work, and those are the same things that translate into being a, a physician. You have to be hardworking and dedicated to your work. You also have to be compassionate towards your patients, and you have to be a really good teammate, whether it's to your patients or your colleagues in, in medicine. So I think we've had the advantage of practice a lot of real life things on the court at a higher level. I think athletes have to balance a lot of different things. You know, they have to keep up their grades. They have to participate in extracurriculars on top of everything they have to do within their sport. Traveling, lifting, practice, film sessions. It's just so much going on at one time. So for them to be able to balance everything and do everything at a high level is something that is a good skill for medical students because as a medical student, I have to study, I have to research, I have to keep on top of my physical and mental health during all of it. In sports, you can be a leader on and off the field. We work in groups at WMED and just having that ability to um, lead a team, lead discussion, it's, it's really valuable. Student athletes are resilient and they know that the best way to succeed is to have those failures and to learn from them. They don't give up once they do fail, right? It can be a strikeout and the next time you're up at bat, you can easily hit one over, right? You can hit that home run. I think something specific to athletes is that they have such a hands-on knowledge of how to keep your body healthy and athletes know like your body is how you succeed, you know? And so I think that kind of go hand, goes hand in hand with health. You know, how do we make ourselves healthier? We need to eat better. We need to work out. We need to do all these things. And so athletes have that firsthand knowledge. As a college athlete, you struggle a lot with your practicing, your game schedule, your workout schedule, your class schedule. And all the while, while you're succeeding and working through doing that, that's building such a good foundation for when you want to go into any sort of healthcare career because the it is a very demanding specialty. So you, you just learn that pressure and you learn how to deal with it and keep going forward. We former student athletes are in the medical field. Hashtag, we out you. <laughs>